Hey, this is Alan, and uh, I went to the hobby shop, and uh, I kind of let the uh, goose loose, and uh, so to speak, and uh, uh, got a few things, and we thought we'd share these with you. Uh, this is, uh, uh, again, Alan, the RDA Inscale, and uh, uh, first uh, uh, little item we got here is the uh, Cotto. 838 which is um uh the uh parts engine for 844 but kato um took this engine and uh brought it to life and i've seen a couple videos um uh, of the engine and i think they're pretty sharp and i thought well i get one i'll show mine uh that uh uh tell you a little bit that i did have a 844 uh and it was the excursion engine it uh didn't um uh, uh, it was dc and so this is going to be a little bit different running it on uh, <coughs> excuse me on dcc um, and I think the sounds and everything were going to make it pretty cool. And I think it's going to do good, uh, doing, uh, uh, pulling the excursions and, uh, freight as 3985, uh, done that and 844 done some, uh, uh, excursions, uh, lots of excursions and did some freight pulling, you know, uh, uh, out there, uh, to show that it could still pull freight. And, uh, but, um, uh, I didn't fully unwrap it yet, but, um, I'll get to that and uh, show a little bit more of it. And, uh, we'll show you this engine. Uh, I did take the cover off and I think it's pretty cool. Um, let's see if that'll focus. It's got a flat radiator. Uh, this is the first six wheel not my first Atlas, but my first six-wheel truck uh, engine, 2230 for from uh, UP, uh, and it's an Atlas Gold Series with lock sound. And uh, uh, I wanted to use this to uh, uh, pull some of my little bit longer freights, and I think it'll do pretty good. I really like the way Atlas has done their engines running uh, a wire off of the trucks up into the frame i think that's i think it's got a little bit more better contact or connectivity and then i got this uh southern pacific <coughs> excuse me and uh uh it is a um 38-2 and it's probably oh i want to say probably a eight or nine year old engine maybe maybe a six year old engine um we'll just have to see how it runs it might need a little tlc because it's probably it's probably set for for definitely a while so it may you know take right off or we just have to kind of see how it does but um uh we'll uh make her a runner uh this is uh the uh this engine definitely has not been out very long this is the new illinois central golf 2508 I've seen mainly on this engine, I've mainly just seen a lot of the cars and stuff like that. I haven't seen too many engines. Occasionally, they might be an Illinois, an Illinois. I'll get this right here in a minute. A little sleepy, but um, maybe on a rare occasion, does, a, does an engine or an engine, you know, back in the day came through our area with this definitely a lot of cars with illinois central golf on it but uh i like the colors and uh we're gonna let the golf uh run on uh the uh lahana hutch and uh, mini pratt sub and so uh, uh we showed the engines and then we're gonna move to a couple other things that i got i got me a lightworks uh usa by miller engineering and the first one of these I've ever had. And uh, might need, 
I might need some suggestions from you guys to how to... First one I've got, how to... I think it looks cool just sitting there, but it needs to be over on the layout. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to set up so I can hide that bottom that bottom deal. It says you got to align the little red uh, thing on the... You know, you got to align the red deal right there with the white deal right there to get your uh, to get your patterns i've got the little um i got the little device um uh hidden underneath here but you can uh you can change like right there's one of the patterns you can change it to this pattern and you can change it to that there i think that's cool uh whoops i'm sorry i didn't have it on there but now she's back on there and uh because of my phone doing this recording in, at 60 frames per second uh i'm hoping you guys see this real good i'm hoping it comes out real good you know in the video but this is the first one and matter of fact i'll shut the light off here and maybe you can see it a little bit better this is the first one i don't know if that's going to wash it out or not but this is the first one of these here I've had. Matter of fact, hell, I'll just shut the lights off. Give me a second, I'll put it on pause. I think this is neat. Uh, uh, I don't know if it looks better or worse there. I think it might have with the light. I think because that light does something with the camera. I think that, uh, I think it's sharp. I mean, that's the first one I've ever had of these. And, you know, I'm just as giggly getting my engines i'm pretty you know that with uh uh with the uh the sign too and i gotta give a shout out to, uh i call him i call him uncle Vinny. <clears throat> uh uh he's he goes by cousin Vinny and come see the cousin you know and but uh uh i call i call uh, when I've got an elder statesman a little older than me, I sometimes call him uncle. And so I call cousin Vinny, uncle Vinny. And so uncle Vinny, if you're, if you watch this, uh, tell me what you think, <clears throat> what the kid did here. Uh, I, I think this is, excuse my language, uncle Vinny, but I think that's the neatest damn sign that I've ever seen. <coughs> I mean, you can see the little lights going through the railroad tracks and, you know, and then they light up there and there's, well, they had where I got this at, they had Santa Fe, they had planters, peanuts, they had, uh, Budweiser, uh, oh, they had, uh, oh, uh, the great Northern, um, Hmm uh several of the ones that several of the ones that you can you know that you can see uh on their little website deal uh you can you know and i happened to catch this one here and i thought if i find that one up there uh and i like um and I like the Santa Fe and I thought about getting the Santa Fe, but then I seen this one here and I seen how much different things do on this. I thought, damn, this is cool. I mean, you know, <laughs> I'm an old 50 year old fart, uh, loving this, uh, loving this, uh, I guess you call it young kid stuff. So, uh, but, uh, we got that. And then we got one other thing, uh, that I think we'll like here. Uh, if you can see this here, and for the light don't shine at you too much, we got one of these uh, uh, red flasher. Add a flasher the easy way. I think basically you just drill a little hole or whatever in that, and it's by Evans Design. And uh, you just uh, put that in there, hook the wires up as it says right there, and put the battery in there, and I think she's ready to go. And we'll uh pretty soon we'll get that ready but we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna clear the tracks and and i'll show a little uh, another video here uh of a little bit more of the uh uh 838 and then we'll uh show a little bit of it uh, while she's on the track so i hope you tune in uh please subscribe uh 
click the like and ring the bell and we thank you for watching rdan scale alan